everyone, my name is Courtney Sumter and I'm the founder and occupational therapist at Northern Michigan Equine Therapy. I'm excited to be here with you today to help you build a birdhouse with the Northwest Michigan Habitat for Humanity uh, Women's Build Project. Um, it's great to link up with other nonprofits in the community uh, to share some of our fortes. And at Northern Michigan Equine Therapy, I have many, I wear many hats for my career. I am a therapist where I work with individuals with physical disabilities and also, also mental health needs. And I also feed the horses and fix a lot of things on the farm. So that's where this relationship came about, uh, where I can show you guys how to uh, build this birdhouse and uh, empower all women to get their hands dirty and working hard. So let's get started. Here is Here are the pieces for the birdhouse. We have two pieces. You have the front of the house and the back of the house. You have two wall pieces that are nice and smooth on all edges. And then you have two roof pieces which have an angle um, cut on them. So I don't know if you guys can see that. And so that will eventually, both angles will go together for that roof. And then our last piece is the bottom. And it's going to be your longest piece. So this longest piece, we're going to start off with that. And then to make life easier for us, um, getting the first pieces um, when building uh, any, any wall or um, building the first couple pieces are the hardest to to stand up on edge and to get attached so um besides the pieces you do need a hammer and you also need some uh some um nails so here are some nails in my handy ziplock and what i'm going to do is i'm going to line up uh the walls on both sides so those are your two flat pieces short flat pieces and we're actually going to utilize one of these um, one of these uh, roof pieces to help balance. So what's going to happen is that you have these two walls that start the edge, but we need enough room. So there's going to be a little porch for our birdhouse. That's the front. And then there's going to be a little edge here where we need the distance for our back wall which will be this. So this piece will be our back wall. But when starting, uh, that's gonna be hard to balance on the tip of the, the roof piece here. So we're gonna use one of the um, roof pieces just to measure and line up that we have everything lined up in place here. So we have the back wall that's flush with the back of the long board, okay? So this isn't standing upright, but we're gonna have to flip it all over to get the first wall pieces in. So I'm gonna take these wall pieces down and I'm gonna stand them up on edge. So like that. And then I'm gonna put the birdhouse floor. So now it's all flipped upside down. Hopefully you guys can see this all okay. And then to measure and to give us a little bit of a balance, we want to make sure that each wall it has you have enough room for the for the back um, wall piece. So you have to put a roof piece in, and then you line your wall up, and then make it nice and flush with your hand for that back wall. And then what we do is we just start pounding away. So. This is gonna be the easiest way to get things started. Okay, so that's our first one. And then you can always maneuver your piece of wood around a little bit to make sure that everything's lined up and nice and flush for the sidewall. So we're gonna put two nails in. There are some pre-drilled holes um, but you can, you can find a place of your own that you want to put a nail in. So the best way to put a nail in is you take, I'm right-handed, so I take the hammer in my right hand, my left hand holds the nail, 
And so really, you want to hold that nail nice and firm, and then you can do a couple light taps just to get started. Once you get it started, drive that nail right down. So that's one wall up. I'll show you how it looks. So that's one wall. There should be enough room for your back wall to go in, okay? And that's why we're utilizing this flat uh, roof piece to help us balance, okay? Now we're gonna line up that back wall and we're gonna hammer, or I'm sorry, your other side wall. It's back to me. And we're gonna put that in again. Start it, make sure everything's lined up. And once it's lined up, you can keep hammering away. And then you can remove this back wall now, or the back roof piece that you um, use to measure the width of your back wall. And then you can make sure everything is nice and lined up again before you put that. So you want it nice and flush. So mine, kind of, when I hammered it, the piece of wood, don't worry, it kind of came out. And um, what you can do is you can turn it just like that and smooth it out. And then I'll put in a second nail here for these, this side wall. We do a lot of fixing of lean-tos and fences and you know aesthetics is not is not a huge thing when you just have to uh, fix a fence for for the horses. I need to make sure that they stay in the fencing so aesthetics is not um, a big issue. If you are a perfectionist and you know want everything perfect in your lines everything perfect take your time with this. Me, I like to just get things done and get moving and I'm gonna show you that. So if you ever need to take a break or need a little more time to get this done, please do so. Um, I'm just part of the building crew. The decorating crew, you don't want me to run it. I am not um, a very good artist. So, on to the back wall. So as you can see, the two walls are up. And we do have, excuse me, we do have a um, little porch here for our, our birds. And then we have enough room to put our back wall on. So we're going to do that next. And what I, it's going to take a little bit of balancing, okay, to make this happen. And so how I'm going to do that is I'm going to put my, I'm going to push down onto the table with my left hand and take that um, nail just to balance, get it started. And then I'm going to make sure everything's lined up and continue pushing with my left hand down to the table so to stabilize the birdhouse. And put that nail right in. And then we'll go with the second nail for this wall. And you want to make sure that they're nice on that edge. And we're going to start that out again. Oops, a little crooked here. And again, push down. And hammer it in. Okay. So that's one side, and now we just have another side. I'm gonna again push down with my left, hold on with my my nail with my left fingers, start it, and then see, everybody makes mistakes. Sometimes you gotta restart, so you use the back end of your hammer, you can pull that nail right out, and then start again. I'm going to make sure that my wall is nice and flush. And then we're going to do one more. Let's 
start with that again. Okay, so we have our back wall on. Okay, so we have our front and our side or our back wall, our side walls. And now we need to go for our front wall. This will be easier because you can stand it on edge and you have your back wall to help with stabilizing. You want to make sure or there's a hole for a dowel for the birds to perch on. Um, and again, here we go. You stabilize with your left hand if you're left-handed. And then use your right. It would be the opposite if you're left-handed. Stabilize with your right. Hammer with your left. Now we just need two more for the other side. Make sure everything's all lined up how you want. And like I said, this is not perfect. It's not beautiful. I just want to show you exactly how to get this thing put together the easiest way. So I don't have a perfectly flush wall. I'm going to give, give a little bit of push with my thumb. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's not exactly flush. So I'm pushing the board with my thumb and then I'm going to push down for stability so that I can get this nail in and you keep doing that until it connects and two nails for that so it's nice and flush now. Now something if you're doing this the boards are only you know they're only this thick okay so you only have that much room to hammer in. So the closer to the edge you are, the better um, to get it in. But you don't want to be too close to the edge because the nail can actually pop out of the side. So I would say you're about a quarter of an inch in, um, maybe even a little bit less. Okay, so we have everything put together but the roof. The roof is the last piece, last two pieces, and you're gonna take both pieces that have the angles on it so that they make that peak. So this is probably gonna be the most difficult for when you line things up. So what you wanna do is you want to take both pieces and get them exactly in the spot where you want them. And I like, oops. And another way to look too is if, the bottom of that angle is right at the tip top of your birdhouse. And what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna hold that is I'm gonna take my uh, left hand again, I'm gonna push with my thumb to get that stability, to keep it there. And then there's pre-drilled holes. So this makes it a lot easier. Uh, so you're gonna more stabilize the, the piece of wood with your left hand by holding a wall, holding the top of the roof, and then you can kind of really shimmy that nail into the, um, into the, to the roof so that it's stable so you don't have to start it because we would need a third hand for that. Since there's a little bit of play that happens with this and we're on an angle and it's easier for um, for the, the roof to slide down, I'm only gonna go halfway in with the nail. I'm not sure if you can see that because if I have to make adjustments, then I can easily pull it out and readjust. So now next is gonna be that second nail and I suggest doing it the top nails first. and get it started, and then line it up. Okay, now I'm going to just check and make sure I like how things are lining up. And I 
I think it's pretty good. There's a little gap, a little space, but like I said, I'm not a perfectionist. I'm more for, hey, these birds are not gonna care if uh, if it's a little bit off. As long as I have a nice cozy place to make a nest and a place to eat, uh, I think they're gonna be pretty happy. So I'm gonna finish nailing in that front nail. And then I'm gonna do two more to finish off the side of the roof. And the pre-drilled pre hole on this side, um, it, it's a little bit lower, so I'm gonna have to make a new, new spot. And then I'm gonna do the front one. And then we're gonna start this other side. So we're gonna make sure it's all lined up. And like I said, there's a little bit, it's not exactly flush, but I think we're good. So I'm just gonna turn it just for ease for myself. I'm gonna squeeze with my left hand, squeeze both of those uh, pieces of roof together, get that nail really shimmied into that pre-hole. together so I'm pretty impressed with how this thing is turning out. that they will have for you in your bird kit, and then also decorate. Decorate away, make these things beautiful. Um, thank you so much for having me and letting me uh, build this birdhouse with you. And uh, just a little bit about Northern Michigan Equine Therapy, if you guys are um, wondering what it is, we are an outpatient rehabilitation facility where we utilize a horse's movement for individuals with physical disabilities to receive therapy services. And then we also have a program, our Horse Sense program that helps those in need with mental health services. So that's a little bit about us and we are so grateful to partner up with another wonderful nonprofit organization. And I can't thank you enough Habitat for Humanity for letting me partner up with you guys and showing you how to build this cute little birdhouse. So have fun everybody and enjoy the birdhouse build. Thanks a lot.